Hello everybody, how are you all? Hope you're doing great. So welcome back to another session of learning English with me. Today, are you ready for another professional English speaking fluency lesson? Yes, today's lesson is going to help you practice your English speaking with me right here in this lesson which is going to target directly your fluency, the way you speak sentences, the way you form sentences and how to speak each and every sentence with a flow. So today is going to be again a shadowing practice lesson. Yes, the shadowing speaking practice, that is one of the most professional forms of speaking practice and we are going to do it today. So today I have selected some sentences, 10 sentences related to dinner plans. So you're making dinner plans with your friends, with your family. You want to talk about some food, dinner and all that. You can use all the sentences that I'm using today. They are something that you can use in casual conversation anytime. So are you ready for this? I'm Shivangi Gupta, your CELTA certified English language tutor, certified by the University of Cambridge, the UK. And you're watching Speak English with Shivangi. Before beginning, please subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any lesson that I post on this channel for all of you. Like the video and share it with your friends too. Coming back to today's lesson, are you ready for the shadowing English speaking practice? Yes, I hope you are. This is lesson number six in this practice session series. You can check out other lessons from the playlist. The link is given in the description box below and you know what to do. If you're following all the shadowing lessons, you know what to do. Still, I'm going to tell you once again, you have to repeat after me. Listen to me very carefully and then repeat after me. Okay, everybody, let's begin with sentence number one. Listen everybody, listen carefully. Let's order something for dinner. Let's order something for dinner. Now repeat after me. Let's order something for dinner. Let's order something for dinner. Read and repeat. Let's order something for dinner. Let's order something for dinner. Keep repeating. Let's order something for dinner. Excellent. That was excellent. The next one. Listen, listen everybody. They are too tired to cook anything. They are too tired to cook anything. Now repeat after me. They are too tired to cook anything. They are too tired to cook anything. They are too tired to cook anything. Read and repeat. They are too tired to cook anything. Keep repeating. They are too tired to cook anything. They are too tired to cook anything. One more time. They are too tired to cook anything. Excellent. That was lovely. The next one. Listen everybody. Listen now. She ordered some pasta for the dinner. She ordered some pasta for the dinner. Now repeat after me. She ordered some pasta for the dinner. She ordered some pasta for the dinner. Keep repeating, she ordered some pasta for the dinner. Read and repeat, she ordered some pasta for the dinner. One more time, she ordered some pasta for the dinner. Excellent, that is great. Do you love eating pasta? Comment and let me know about it. The next one. Listen everybody, listen. Dinner will be served in two minutes. Dinner will be served in two minutes. Now repeat after me. Dinner will be served in two minutes. Dinner will be served in two minutes. Dinner will be served in two minutes. Read and repeat. Dinner will be served in two minutes. Dinner will be served in two minutes. Keep repeating one more time. Dinner will be served in two minutes. Excellent. Excellent. That was totally lovely. The next one. Okay, listen everybody, listen carefully. Now this is going to be a bit tricky. I'll have two slices of pizza. I will have two slices of pizza. So I will is contracted and it becomes I'll. You can say I'll or you can also say I will. But say I'll. If you want to speak fast English, say I'll. 
right? I'll have two slices of pizza, not pizza, no, pizza, the T and S sound, pizza, pizza, repeat, pizza, pizza, excellent. Now listen one more time, I'll have two slices of pizza, excellent. Now repeat after me, I'll have two slices of pizza, I'll have two slices of pizza, keep repeating, I'll have two slices of pizza. Read and repeat, I'll have two slices of pizza. I'll have two slices of pizza. One last time, I'll have two slices of pizza. Amazing, that was amazing. The next one. Okay, everybody, listen. Now it's going to be a long sentence, so listen carefully. It is healthy to eat some salad with your meal. It is will be contracted and it will become it's, it's, right? It's with an apostrophe, yes. So it's healthy to eat some salad with your meal. Now repeat after me, repeat, repeat. It's healthy to eat some salad with your meal. It's healthy to eat some salad with your meal. It's healthy to eat some salad with your meal. Excellent, read and repeat. It's healthy to eat some salad with your meal. It's healthy to eat some salad with your meal. One more time, it's healthy to eat some salad with your meal. Excellent, excellent, that was lovely, the next one. Okay, listen everybody, listen. Dinner without some dessert is incomplete. Dinner without some dessert, it's dessert, not desert. Desert is the sandy area, like Thar Desert, right? It's dessert, dessert. Repeat, dessert, dessert. Yes. Now listen once again. Dinner without some dessert is incomplete. Now repeat after me. Dinner without some dessert is incomplete. Now read and repeat. Dinner without some dessert is incomplete. Dinner without some dessert is incomplete. One more time. Dinner without some dessert is incomplete. Excellent. Don't you think dinner without some dessert is actually incomplete? If yes, do let me know. The next one. Listen everybody, listen. The dessert is kept in the refrigerator. Refrigerator. Repeat this word. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Now this is a long word and it seems like a tongue twister, right? Sometimes people end up mispronouncing without realizing. So refrigerator. Excellent. Now repeat after me. The dessert is kept in the refrigerator. The dessert is kept in the refrigerator. One more time. The dessert is kept in the refrigerator. Read and repeat. The dessert is kept in the refrigerator. The dessert is kept in the refrigerator. Once again. The dessert is kept in the refrigerator. Excellent. Excellent. The next one. Listen everybody, now listen. The chocolate cake is absolutely delicious. The chocolate cake is absolutely delicious. Now repeat after me. The chocolate cake is absolutely delicious. The chocolate cake is absolutely delicious. Repeat, repeat. The chocolate cake is absolutely delicious. The chocolate cake is absolutely delicious. Read and repeat, the chocolate cake is absolutely delicious. One more time, the chocolate cake is absolutely delicious. That was lovely, that was lovely. The next one. Listen everybody, listen. Could you help me clean the table? Could you help me clean the table? Now repeat after me. Could you help me clean the table? Could you help me clean the table? Keep repeating. Could you help me clean the table? Read and repeat. Could you help me clean the table? One more time. Could you help me clean the table? Okay, one last time, everybody. Could you help me clean the table? Excellent, excellent. That was lovely. What a lovely shadowing session. So these are all the sentences that you can use 
what you can do is you can substitute the name of the item substitute means you can change the name of the item for example you are eating something for dessert you can say that particular dessert is absolutely delicious right that is how you can use all the sentences in the conversations that you're going to have in future plus you have already practiced your fluency with me in this practice lesson so shadowing lessons helps develop the fluency immensely i hope you like this lesson particular lesson and you have practiced with me in this particular session that is it for today that's the lesson now i'm going to see you in the next lesson till then everybody take care and bye